some words about logic. The sentence, the cat has not eaten the mouse, would be put to logic language in the form of there does not exist X, which would be a cat, and which would have eaten a mouse. But this way of marking, even though it's good for going through a list of cases, whether something is a cat or not a cat, and whether it has eaten a mouse or not eaten a mouse, and classifying that information in different ways and finding out what would be true. So it's not good for for understanding the sentence, because in it you lose the original structure of the sentence. You kind of create extra structure with space attention to some list-like qualities, some words mainly, but then you lose the point of view of the sentence. So I think that better way of marking this up would be there does not exist a cat which would have eaten a mouse. And even better way, because this sentence depends on the context that you are in, even better way to mark it up would be to make a box, which is the farm. There does not exist a cat which would have eaten a mouse you put inside the box. So then you know what the sentence says. But of course this sentence makes sense only if you if you know what you are talking about or on the context that it is used. So whether it's your farm or the fate of the cat, the cat died or the mouse is still alive. So <coughs> you kind of have to know the context in order to understand why the sentence makes sense. Also, if you want to see what at the general level you can get of the same sentence, so then you have to generalize and for that it ain't good to lose sight of the whole idea of it had having been a cat which eaten the mouse or not eaten. So you would generalize better by saying that there does not exist a cat which would have eaten the mouse, there does not exist a cat which would have eaten an animal, there does not exist anything that which would have eaten an animal, there does not exist anything which would be in relation with an animal. And these, of course, just about all are typically untrue, almost in all cases. <laughs> but <coughs> you can kind of fix it by placing a negation in front of them or saying that that's just why we want to pay attention to this case, because the, it's so peculiar, so unusual so that we have to mention it. But for just for the purposes of marking this up, it's important that you keep the structure that is in the sentence, and then of course you should see all the structure, so also the context. And this way of making a box is very good because then you at the set another place you can make a map where there are certain areas in the map, this farm and the neighboring farm and so on. So. <coughs> Those are all kind of boxes, there are areas with borders in the map. So you can place the, all the cats inside, all the information about a cats existing inside so the, the farms and about the information about the mice also geographically right to where the cats and mice live. And so you kind of get all the information that you can get to the same picture, which is like in the nature. So it's like in our perceptions, it's common sense perceptions, cats living and mice living and cats eating mice, and there being some farms in which there are cats and mice. So <coughs> you kind of get all the important qualities, important information to the same picture, which is very easy. There's some areas on the map and there are marks, cat, 
numbers, mice are numbers, and make it maybe marked up uh, how many mice eaten in on a certain time interval. So this is scientific, also it's easy way to mark this up for computer, should be recommended for that, and then it's just better than the original way of marking because it's so much nearer to natural language. And <coughs> this way of marking up is easy to generalize so that you can see the areas of application of your truths because you kind of can get, take the, just any area on a map instead of a farm and instead of cat or mice, any being and instead of just certain numbers so you can take some other other amount like all, some part, some roughly described part or some detailedly described or no no whatever is the place of interest. And then you just kind of come from up from the holistic view of the map down to the detailed happening of special interest. So you all the time you know what you are talking about and then on the other hand you see the specific happening especially. So well, I would recommend this way of marking and I'm kind of going this through partly because I want to prove that I'm really good at objective thinking so what I've written about other things is is true also very objectively also in this modern world of computers and science so it applies and kind of fits together all everything okay thank you bye